In 2019, non-dairy milk, tahini, and elevated frozen foods took over kitchens across the country and Americans are hungrier than ever for more in 2020. But if you're looking to satisfy your appetite for these diet trends and health foods, know this, there's more to the Instagram posts and sleek packaging that accompany these foods. While there's no harm in trying new foods and different approaches to healthy eating, sometimes it's easy to get lost in the hype and see the cup of green juice half full. So to help you weed through the nutrition confusion, we ask some of the country's top registered dietitians to break down the latest and greatest diet crazes and health food trends. Here's what they had to say. 1. Plant-based meats. Plant-based meats really took off in 2019, impossible whopper, anyone, and they're expected to become even more mainstream and accessible in 2020, says Jessica Cording, MS, RD, author of The Little Book of Game Changers, 50 Healthy Habits for Managing Stress and Anxiety. The plant-based trend is going to continue to grow as people become more open to the idea and curious about it, she says. I think that we're going to be seeing more and better products in the future. New plant-based meats are made to appeal to meat eaters, says Alyssa Rumsey, RD, a dietitian and intuitive eating coach. It's not a requirement to give up meat to be healthy, she says, but these new plant-based options can be an alternative choice if you are looking to eat more sustainably. 2. Better non-alcoholic drink options. Whether it's hops-infused sparkling waters or non-alcoholic gin, the range of non-alcoholic drink options is growing. I've been hearing a lot about the sober curious movement, with people wanting to explore non-alcoholic beverages, says Cording. That's a great thing. There's been a limit on delicious, alcohol-free beverages. This is especially helpful for those who don't prefer to drink alcohol when socializing, Rumsey adds. They still want to go out and be social, but they are trying to avoid how they feel after a night of drinking, like poor sleep or trouble focusing, morning headaches, and fuzzy brains. The new non-alcoholic drinks are more creative, tasty, and fun than previous options, she says. While these drinks can be healthy, Cording just recommends being mindful of their sugar content and portion sizes. 3. Ancient Grains Beyond Quina Ancient grains have been buzzy for a while, but most people are still only familiar with quinoa, Rumsey points out. As people look to increase variety, they can try the many other kinds of ancient grains like farro, spelt, millet, bulger, teff, and more, she says. These ancient grains are nutrient-dense, high in fiber, and linked to health benefits like decreased cholesterol and lower risk of stroke, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. A lot of ancient grains are also gluten-free, Cording points out, making them a good choice for people with celiac disease or who want to limit their gluten intake. 4. Plant-based butters Peanut and almond butters have been around since practically forever, but there's a new crop of plant-based butters that's coming up. Expect to see more variety, like chickpea butter, macadamia butter, and even watermelon seed butter on grocery store shelves in the future. All the different seeds, nuts, and legumes have different nutritional profiles and textures, says Cording. These are adding more variety and options for people who maybe want to try these foods, but might have allergies to things like peanuts, almonds, and soy. And they can even be good for you. Seeds are the nutrition powerhouse of the plant, so plant-based butters are a fantastic way to add more fiber, protein, vitamins, and minerals to your diet without the saturated fat in spreads like butter or cream cheese, says Karen Ansel, RDN, CEO author of Healthy in a Hurry. Just keep in mind that like any nut butter, these can be high in fat and calories so cap servings at 2 tablespoons maximum. 5. Celery Juice Just when you thought you'd never sip another juice, Celery juice emerged as a magic elixir in 2019, and it's likely not going anywhere. Endorsed by celebrities like Miranda Kerr and Leah Michelle, celery juice is touted for its ability to help remove toxins from your body and stabilize blood pressure levels. And because it's a rich source of magnesium, proponents say it helps boost energy and aids muscle recovery. However, there's little scientific evidence that proves the long-term health benefits of celery juice, 
but there have been many claims that people do feel better when it's part of their daily routine, says Carrie Glassman, MS, RD, CDN, founder of Nutritious Life. Instead, Glassman recommends enjoying celery in a smoothie. I'm a smoothie person one for the fiber but also to feel satiated and full until lunch. Juices are quick digesting and the sugars are quick to enter your bloodstream, leaving you feeling hungry soon after, she adds. 6. Swapping soy for other plant-based alternatives Soy has been a go-to for plant-based protein for years, but a range of different, more nutritious ingredients are being used in more foods. Soy is overused in the U.S. food system as a cheap filler, Cording says. Expect healthier proteins like mung bean and hemp seed to be used more in foods in the future, she says. 7. Pegan Diet The Pegan Diet is a mashup of vegan and paleo diets and it emphasizes a clean way of eating that includes plenty of vegetables and fruits, high-quality fats, little or no foods treated with pesticides, antibiotics and hormones, lean protein, and low mercury fish. Sounds good, right? But the diet limits whole grains because they raise blood sugar levels, and dairy because it's seen as inflammatory. Glassman says that with any kind of diet, whether it's pegan or not, is to be conscious of its deprivation. If you're prone to feeling off or on and struggle with yo-yo dieting, this may not be for you, Glassman explains. I always say to use your hunger quotient as the number one measure of healthy eating, she adds. However, Jessica Levinson, MS, RDN, CDN, a New York-based culinary nutrition expert and author of 52-Week Meal Planner, says that restriction diets, like the Pegan diet, just lead to overeating. Grains, legumes, and dairy-containing foods, which are to be avoided or limited on a Pegan diet, have important nutrients we need. That said, compared to a paleo or vegan diet individually, I do think the Pegan diet is a healthier choice, she explains, a Ayurvedic diet. While this 5,000-year-old diet isn't anything new, the ancient practice, which originated in India, has recently become more popular because of its focus on mindful eating through Ayurvedic dashas. Dashas are personality types that correspond to different elements, including space, air, fire, water, and earth. For example, if you're Vata, you're creative, intense, and expressive. The Ayurvedic diet recommends you work with an Ayurvedic doctor to identify your dasha, so you can start eating a diet that caters to it. Francis Largeman Roth, RDN, nutrition and wellness expert and author of Eating in Color, says, I actually tried an Ayurvedic diet for a week while I was in India several years ago. It does have wonderful benefits in the sense that you will be consuming a lot of ginger, turmeric, and cinnamon all of which fight inflammation. But she adds that it has been difficult to test whether Ayurvedic diets are effective because they don't fit the mold of Western medicine. However, I do think anyone can benefit from incorporating some of the practices. 9. Low-carb diets The keto diet has completely exploded in the past year and it has helped millions of people lose weight but is it really good for you? Science isn't so sure. According to an August 2018 study in Lancet which followed more than 15,000 people for 25 years those who eat a moderate amount of carbohydrates live an average 4 years longer than someone who eats a very low carb diet. Another 2018 study of nearly 25,000 people from the European Society of Cardiology suggests that people who consume a low-carb diet have a 32% higher risk for premature death than those who eat a moderate amount of carbs. That's because reducing your intake of carbs, which include vegetables and fruits, means depriving yourself of important nutrients and antioxidants. Moreover, U.S. News & World Report named the Keto Diet and WHOLE30 among the worst diets to follow in 2019, thanks to their restrictive food plans. 10. Oat Milk Move over, almond milk. Oat milk is the latest non-dairy alternative to hit the aisles and make a splash. More people than ever are shopping for dairy-free options, whether they're lactose intolerant or not. But don't let the label fool you. While most brands use real oats in their milk, they'll also load up on added sugars and a host of additives to boost the flavor. 
If oat milk works better for your diet than dairy milk, go for it. As long as you're just adding a touch to your coffee, then it's fine. You shouldn't be chugging it alongside every meal water is best for that, Glassman says. She also recommends choosing a brand with a simple ingredient list and checking the sugar content. Avoid flavored versions, like chocolate and vanilla to steer clear of added sugar. Try to buy organic if it's available, she says. 11. CBD Infused Drinks CBD oil made quite an impact last year with the hemp derivative infused in everything from sparkling water, lats, and other beverages. Recess a can sparkling water infused with CBD and Adaptogens is just one company that uses the plant to perk up its beverages. It's hard to say its CBD effects in things like lats, but choosing a product suspended in oil, like coconut oil, and administered under the tongue to my knowledge is the most effective way to work CBD oil into your routine, Glassman says. Largeman Roth agrees. I'm not sure if there's a difference between drinking and eating it CBD, but you can certainly drink something more quickly than you can eat it. I do know that if a product contains fat in it, the effects of CBD can last longer. Bottom line, if you want to incorporate CBD into your routine, go for full spectrum or broad spectrum varieties and use a dropper to add the oil to your drink so you know exactly how much you're getting. 12. 11. Dessert Hummus Whether you're trying to lose weight or want to eat healthier, dessert hummus sounds like the perfect marriage of fiber, protein, and sugar that you can actually feel good about. Unfortunately, Many brands, such as Delighted by Hummus, that make this so-called healthy treat have only one measly gram of protein a far cry from what you'd expect from eating chickpeas. Plus, they pack as much as 5 grams of sugar per 2 tablespoon serving. Definitely enjoy them as you would a chocolate dessert topping or sweet. Just because they're made out of chickpeas, it doesn't mean you can eat the whole container. It's the same way to look at chickpea brownies, Glassman says. The chickpeas doesn't make it a golden product if it has the same added sugar as another dessert. It's exactly as it says dessert hummus, she adds. 13. Elderberry Syrup Although elderberry has been around forever, the trend of using it to help fight colds and the flu has become more popular, especially during the colder months. We see this sweet trend will continue and expand to food products with elderberry syrup. Some studies have shown a benefit to taking elderberry syrup, and many folks are now making their own at home. But be cautious as raw elderberries, including the leaves and flowers, contain a chemical that produces cyanide. So it's best to buy a commercially made syrup, Largeman Roth says. 14. Nootropics As more people focus on reducing brain fog and their risk of Alzheimer's disease, they're looking into nootropics to enhance their brain health. Similar to adaptogens, nootropics are herbs and synthetic compounds that claim to help improve your memory and cognitive abilities. Caffeine, melatonin, L-theanine, and ashwagandha are examples of common nootropics. As many adults know, there is a benefit to caffeine, but we also know that too much of a good thing can be detrimental. This trend is one I'll be watching closely. My guess is that they may be over-promising results, Largeman Roth says. 15. Essential Oil Infused Foods and Drinks If you don't own a diffuser, then you're missing out on the benefits of essential oils. Essential oils, like lavender, tea tree oil, and peppermint, have been shown to help calm anxiety, acne, and an upset stomach. But now these scented oils are making their way into your food and drinks. Scent and Juice Press both offer infused waters with essential oils. Still, consuming them isn't the same thing as smelling, Glassman says, and in some cases may even be dangerous. There's little hard science on this to know for sure as far as consuming them, but I love essential oils for their effect on mood when diffused into the air. 16. Adaptogenic Drinks, Snacks, and Protein Powders Adaptogens are herbs that proponents say help you adapt to stress and boost your mood. While there's no harm in taking adaptogens, they're not the cure-all you might be expecting. Studies suggests that ashwagandha, an herb that's used to reduce anxiety, can help calm insomnia and other sleep disorders, 
while maca root could be used as a natural aphrodisiac. Still, there's not enough science to completely back these claims up. Adaptogens, touted for helping your body adapt to stress, are that extra step to kick your health up a notch, but slightly gimmicky as far as being in packaged snack foods, Glassman says. 17. Probiotic Granolas and Smoothies Many people have issues with IBS, SIBO, and other digestive conditions, so they turn to probiotics. But we don't just mean natural food sources of probiotics like Greek yogurt and sauerkraut. We see probiotics infused in granola bars, protein powders, and pre-made smoothies and juices. Purely Elizabeth a popular granola brand launched a line of granola, which includes vegan strains of probiotics. I predict that this is the year that consumer look beyond probiotics and start looking for products that also contain prebiotics. As long as the product guarantees that it has billions of live probiotics, it should be offering a similar benefit as fermented dairy, Largeman Roth says. But consumers need to remember that granola bars and other packaged products may also bring along added sugar, sodium, and other things that you don't necessarily want with your probiotics. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to channels.